Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Niqua. So today is just going to be a voiceover day on this video and I really didn't know what to do and I decided to do this easy beginning of fall nail tutorials that I'm going to do on my channel and something easy and fun to, and this this leopard print that you've seen from the thumbnail that's what I'm going to do for you today and what you see rolling right now that's what I'm going to do and so this is just going to be a voiceover day because it's just one of those days so if you want to continue watching and learn of this easy leopard print nail tutorial that looks it's pretty awesome it looks hard but it's pretty awesome and easy to do go ahead sit back relax you can subscribe right now to my YouTube channel and be the first to be notified for any more awesome nail tutorials because I do a lot and you can go and check some out on my channel already and a lot of other fun videos so other than that let's go ahead and get started with this video <laughs> So to begin this nail tutorial, I always do a base coat for all my designs. And so on my middle finger and thumb, I want to do a ombre. So instead of putting a white base coat down that I usually do, I decided to do a lighter color that's going to be in the ombre already. So I went ahead and go ahead and you put two coats down of LA Colors Murd Made Magic. Um, and it's called Opal and I applied two coats of that. And then on the index finger and pinky, I decided to play around with some new uh, nail polishes that I got recently. And I got this nail polish from Sinful Colors Professional, and it's called Body Language. And it's this nice, yummy chocolate brown, so uh, yummy. It has the sparkles of green in it. It looks so good to eat. It just looks so good on the nail. So I decided to do the index finger and the pinky with that color and I did two coats of that. Okay, next I'm going to do the ombre. So I got a makeup sponge wedge and I used that brown and that sheer white that I used for the other nails as the ombre. So first at the top of the makeup sponge wedge, I put Body Language from Simple Colors Professional. And then at the bottom, I put LA Colors Mermaid Magic Opal. And I apply that at the bottom and then I glide some of that opal on to the brown, at the edge of the brown to mix in the colors. But at the same time, make sure to wipe the brush off before you dip it back into the bottle so the colors won't get mixed together so for the middle finger and thumb I did about two to three dab sessions like always when I do ombre uh, nails so I did two or three dab sessions and just a look at these two colors combined together like if I was doing this nail tutorial just by myself and not for a video I probably just left it as this ombre maybe and uh, look at the two colors they look so good together it's like chocolate diamonds and just diamonds melt in together as one and I really really love these two together and they both kind of have that hint of uh, like a sheer greenish tone to it so it just matches well together as an ombre and I, I love it and I totally totally recommend you guys to find these two nail polishes because these are just heaven to have and the camera doesn't show it justice as much as it is looks in person and it's just you need to see it yourself After I did the two and three dab sessions on those three nails, it's time to do the leopard print. With another color that I got recently, I used Simple Colors Professional and it's called Nakey Nay and I love that name and so I used that for the dots of the leopard print and I did that just on that um, brown chocolatey lovely section at the bottom of those ombre nails.
once I was happy with all the dots on those nails and less is more dots in this situation and I went ahead and applied like the C uh, shapes and the U shapes around the leopard print on uh, the on these three nails with a black which I use LA Colors Color Craze circuits and I use that around those shapes on the ombres to make the leopard print and then while I was at it I also did these squiggly lines around the nakey nay shapes to make it more of the leopard print so I did that for all of the ombre nails which is the middle finger wedding finger and thumb figured that on the leopard print and my the chocolate brownness of goodness that I did with the ombre would get hidden and disappear and so I really want to show the color off of the chocolateness that I really love so I left the index finger and the pinky left alone but I decided to put three little little tiny diamond jewels at the bottom of the of these three nails so that's what I did and next after the leopard print And once I was finished with that, I decided it was done. I love these nails. It was very elegant and fall and cheetah and or leopard print. And it is I just love these nails, even though I did it really quick. So I decided to seal my beautiful design in. And people's gonna love your nails if you do this to your nails. So get ready for some compliments. So I decided to use my favorite top coat, which I use the Pro Fix Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat. Did you know that? And I put that on all of the nails. <laughs> So I really hope that you really like this nail tutorial, this fun fall cheetah print nail tutorial. I really hope you recreate these nails yourself and do your best. And it's very easy so anybody can do this for sure. And um, if you do, tag me on Instagram. If you do, that would be really cool. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much for watching and clicking on this video and supporting my video by watching it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you back next week with another video, who knows, and probably more of my face to next time but thank you for making through this voiceover video today and less of my face so other than that thank you so much for watching bye